Hi, I'm Eamon. I'm the head engineer and owner of The Bridge Studio in Brooklyn, New York. We're a large format recording studio. We do a lot of full bands and filming of content of all sorts. Hi, my name is Mona. I'm one of the owners at The Bridge Studio, and it's been an incredible journey. You know, we started out with a very small project studio in Red Hook, Brooklyn, many years ago, and it was sold for condos and kicked out all the businesses, and we decided, okay, we're gonna have to put everything into storage and figure out what's next. Eamon found this place. It was a dilapidated bean sprout factory, and then it was sort of a community that kind of come together to help us uh, create the bridge. The studio I had before was small, and everybody's bedroom is small, living room small. And what we don't have in the city anymore is people looking at each other and making music vibing together, and it just, it kind of worked out. We designed this place so that it would feel like you were at home, even though it's like a big, grand kind of room. That's why there's an Ames chair and Persian rugs and records, because you know, this is what our house is like. So we want you to be, so that, you know. Make yourself a home. Make yourself a home, make some music. Also when we've had like a couple artists introduce new albums here and they will play them on the head speakers. Mm -hmm. They'll have a room full of um, influencers basically who, yeah. you know, bookers, press people who might, you know, want to do some kind of piece on the artist. And, you know, everyone just gets to listen on these pure, amazing speakers in a soundproof room and just get to be poured over by the music, which I think is really nice. The listening parties especially, that's when we first got the head speakers and it made a really big impact. We were using other speakers before, and um, the head speakers are just a whole nother universe. It's another universe of listening. If I put those in my living room, my neighbors would be knocking on my door very quickly. But if I put on the headphones, I can have the same experience. And as an engineer, I listen to headphones so that I can tell what my true noise floor is. I do hunt for clicks and I can hear all kinds of things, especially in like really great quality headphones. You know, it is a tool, but I want to make sure that when the listener is experiencing the music that I'm either capturing or mixing, that I give them as much as they can experience. And now with immersive audio and the way things are moving, I think it's crucial that the headphones become part of the mixing strategy. 